Hi, I'm John Storms, and today we're going to make a uh, RS-45 Terminator for, for Linorama stuff. So, what I have here is I have uh, one end of a Cat5 cable. Whenever one of the ends goes bad, like the little tab breaks off, what I do is I cut off the uh, the end, and it's handy for, for this kind of stuff. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to strip off the outer casing first. All right, so I'm going to be terminating an, an, a Lightarama RS-485 network, which means I'm going to be looking at pins 4 and 5, which are the blue pair. So I'm just going to take all the other ones. Here's the, uh, this is the one, 120 ohm resistor. As you can see, I have a couple of spares. This is 120 ohms half watt. So anyway, what I want to do is I basically want to just wire up this guy between these two these two wires. So first I'm going to take one end. Unravel these a little bit. I'm going to take the one end and just strip it, which with the this stuff is just easy enough. You can do it with your finger. Got a little much, so I'm going to trim it a little bit. There. And then this one, I'm going to trim a little, bit, a little bit lower. And then pull off some. Alright, so now I want to get the resistor between these two guys. So I'm going to trim off some of the excess on him too. This side. All right, so now get my solder ready, my trusty Radio Shack soldering iron. All right, so that's one side. Ready for the solder. And now I got my little resistor there. So next, I just get some more heat shrink. And I just stuff it all in there. This is now a uh, RS-45 Lightarama Terminator. So where does this go? Go over here to my uh, chain, right? So here's my bridge. It goes to unit one, daisy chain to unit two. So this is, has a special crossover cable, but then from here to here it's a regular Cat5, here to here regular Cat5, then here on the end I put the Terminator. Just like that. What does this do? This makes it so that any extra signal that gets sent down here is absorbed by that resistor instead of bouncing back to the controllers and causing problems. And just to prove it still works. See, this is my terminator. A lot longer than it needs to be. But, and uh, I'm going to go throw that one out in the yard this year. So right after I'm done here, it's going into uh, the last controller I have on a chain that uh, sometimes gets a little flaky and when I see flaky what happens is you get a controller that starts doing weird things every once in a while and it's just getting a reflection of that command back and tells it to do something wrong so this will fix it 